I'm not sure if any Newegg Studio subscribers are like really into making custom builds or finding interesting ways to make their own computer products, but while it's here, I mean, I guess we can unbox the Canakit Raspberry Pi 4 Starter Max kit. I don't know. Hi guys, I'm Devin Howard, back with another episode of Unbox This. Today we'll be walking you through setting up your very own Raspberry Pi 4 starter kit. Raspberry Pi kits have come a long way in recent years, and many people have done some really incredible things with their own kits. For me personally, this is my first time working with one of these. We'll be talking through what comes inside as we put this thing together, but for now, let's unbox this. Very important read me first paper. Yeah, thank you card. Wow, you're so polite. All right, I've got everything. As you can see here, we've got our case, the 64-bit quad-core CPU with four gigabytes of RAM, a 64 gig micro SD card, which has been preloaded with the Noob's operating system. We've also got the fan, two HDMI cables, a USB-C power supply set, a set of heat sinks, the USB micro SD reader, Canakit Pi switch, and of course, the all important quick start guide. Now the best way for me to show you this Raspberry Pi in action is to actually put it together. I'm going to take my quick start guide and jump right in with step one. So step one says if you have a case, start by installing the Raspberry Pi inside the case. To avoid damaging your micro SD card, do not insert the card until the board is installed in the case. Okay, I'm gonna open up the case. I guess you open it. All right, here's our little baby board. Cute. I'm gonna remove the bottom so that we can easily install our board. Next up, I'm going to stick the heat sinks onto the board. They all come with a little sticker, so you just peel that off and it'll stick right on. The second little heat sink I'm gonna put on right here. Now our final one. The heat sinks have been applied. Now we are going to put the fan in next. This is an optional step, but I'd like to do it. I'm gonna stick this in here. All right, we've got the fan installed. Now we have to insert the micro SD card. I'm gonna slice this open. I'm going to now insert the micro SD card. So that happens right here. Okay, looks like we're all set with that. I'm going to put this case back together now. Connect the fan. Easy. Look at that, perfect. All right, we've got the case back on and the next step is to plug in a keyboard and mouse. Now that doesn't come included with your Raspberry Pi starter kit. There we go. And the mouse. So you plug these into the USB ports. There we go, those are plugged in. The next step is to plug this into a monitor. Of course, that's also not included with the Raspberry Pi, but luckily I work at Newegg, so I've got one right here. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to need next is one of these micro HDMI cords. Open this up. Okay, the cord's ready to go. I'm gonna plug this here into our Raspberry Pi and then the other end into the monitor. Okay, I'm gonna take out the USB-C power supply. Plug 
plugging in the power supply right now. You can see the red light just turned on. We're gonna turn the monitor on. Oh look, it's working! This looks like the noobs menu. So I'm going to click the Raspberry Pi OS full 32-bit right here. That's what's recommended. And then we'll click install. All right. We've got the little raspberry right there. Our little guy's working. I'm going to let this install and then we'll come back in just a little bit to check on our kit. Okay, it looks like the installation was successful. So I'm gonna click this okay button right here on the screen. Okay, look at that. It says, welcome to the Raspberry Pi desktop. Before you start using it, there are a few things to set up. I have to say, I feel very impressed with myself that I was able to set this up all by myself and is actually functional. It's been a really fun and easy experience. The quick start guide is super helpful. It walks you through everything step by step. So even if you've never done this before, you'll be able to figure it out. Thank you all so much for watching. If you want to pick up your very own Raspberry Pi kit, Check the link in the description below. Tap the bell for notifications. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I'm Devin Howard and we just unboxed this.